I want to share another one of my mark making journeys with y'all today. I wanted to see what would happen if I used white and black. I tried temper to begin with and it did work. It dried a little too fast. It really didn't give a shine. So I got out my white acrylic paint, man-made tools and a surprise tool that I thought of myself or so I thought I saw. We're going to use those tools to create almost an x-ray painting. Let's go. I promised you a new way of mark making and I thought let's try white on black. I wanted to not use my own handmade tools. So I had my husband take one of these old squeegees and cut the sides off. And I wanted to see what I could do with it. And I was pretty impressed. These are types of paper that you can use. These are all black paper. See the difference? This is a lower quality. This is more of a tag board. And then this is poster board that I cut. This is what we'll be using today. I will show you my examples first. This is what I did to practice. You'll need to do this in order to become familiar with what you're using. Your tools, especially if they're new, you'll have to see what you can do. Where, where's the paint going to go? And then my second one, whoops, upside down, was this. And I was really quite pleased because it's almost like an x-ray of a flower. And I thought, well, let's try to make it more like a flower. So I used a circular piece on the top. I actually made my own for that. And it's beautiful, but it almost looks like a geranium leaf instead of a flower, which is also fine. It's that transparency that I was really excited about. So let's move all these papers out of the way and let's get to work. The first thing I'm going to do is take and put my acrylic paint I did try tempera and it worked, but it didn't have that deep, deep white that I was looking for. Now I'm doing a strip because of the shape of my tools. Keep handy your wet cloth for your fingers because you'll need it. Let's see if I can move this to where you can see. So I'm gonna start out with the squeegee first. I also have this painting tool that I used as well. It was really good for the stems. Let's dip this in. And when you're dipping, you're going to just dip. Don't dunk it. You'll see that you'll get a little extra. Give it a little tap. Take a peek at it before you use it. And off we go. Touch and move. Touch and move. You want to go slowly. You don't want to overdo it. I'm trying to get that transparent petal look. Now I did try going this way. Let's show you how that works. It's a little different and you get a little bit of opening. Leave those openings. Let's try another. Whoops, I dripped. I didn't do what I told you to do, but that's my style. So let's turn this a little bit. I'm going to dip this. Go over each leaf. Petal. Look at that. This is an amazing tool. I've seen people use large ones on large pieces of artwork, but I wanted to try it myself. So let's see. I don't want this one so big, so I'm going to take a piece of paper and put it here to create my smaller bottom leaves. Now I've made a little smudge there, which is absolutely fine. We're going to do something with that too. Move it and turn. All right, fill this in. Take a peek, go over. Now I will show you, these are tools that I've made with that fun foam again and some cardboard. These are great for those lower, smaller areas. It doesn't have the same stiffness as your squeegee would. So you'll have to go a little slower. Excuse my hand. Now that doesn't look fabulous. It doesn't matter. We can just move it. And here, let's fix this little smudgy area here. Before the paint dries, you still have some control over it. Now I'm going to show you what you can do is take off some of the paint. 
on the bottom. I want some medium spaces, so I'm gonna be very careful. Where should I put these? Let's go over here. Over here, and again. This is super small, so I'm gonna go above it. There we go. So now we're going to pull it down, and since I've got a smudge there, I'm going to incorporate that into the bottom of my plants. This is where this comes in. You're gonna put it straight down and move it slowly. This gives almost a bamboo look, is what I thought. I'm gonna put my hands very slowly. I'll leave a little of the black showing. Don't want it all white. Again, that kind of transparent x-ray look is what we're looking for. After you've practiced, you will find you'll have more confidence. I did it three or four times before I was ready to show it to you all. Now, since this is there, I'm going to try to create some sort of ground cover or ground natural maybe not leaves but something to connect it all together so it's just not a floating flower dip dip you can hear me dipping the reason i'm using something like that there it gives it a little spark a little bit of extra right there double check before i believe i'm finished move my tools out of the way let's give this guy a little try i'm never done Let's see if I can make it a little pointed. There we go. And I'm holding my finger on my arm so that I don't move it too fast. It's a little bit of a control. There we go. So you finished a drawing in a matter of minutes and it's using tools that you have around the house. You can buy an inexpensive squeegee and cut it down or you can get a really big sheet of paper and use a squeegee in a big giant way. But I suggest you practice first, know your materials and how they work, what type of paper you're using, and try it, and try it over and over again. You're gonna be so happy with it. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. Go to artwithmisslinda.com for more classes.